I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933, and welcome to this Cisco certification video practice exam on a topic near and dear to every CSENT and CCNA candidate's heart, and that is the OSI model. You are going to use the OSI model throughout your career as well as for passing these Cisco exams. So what we're going to do here today is take a 10-question video practice exam. Some of the questions are going to have a lot of choices. Some will not have any. And we'll go through the questions at a pretty rapid clip because we do have a 10 minute time limit here on YouTube. So we're going to go through the questions and then go through the answers one at a time, or actually the answers to each question one at a time, and review them. So let's go ahead and get started here and jump in with question one. At which layers of the OSI model do authentication and encryption run? They might be the same layer, they might not be but I need you to tell me at which layers each one of those two occurs. Going on to question two, well like I said we'll be scrolling down a bit here in this one. Identify the OSI model layer at which, at which each of those five devices runs. We've got a router, a switch, a firewall, a crossover cable, and a rollover cable. So at which layer of the OSI model do each of those run? Question three, short answer, which layer of the OSI model concerns itself with proper data formatting? Something we don't have to think about a great deal, we hope, but we need to know where that occurs. And question four, which of these protocols runs at the uppermost layer of the OSI model? So first you've got to know which the uppermost layer is, which I bet you do, and then just tell me which one of these five runs at that particular layer. Question five, which of these does not describe the transport layer of the OSI model? It's one of the dreaded not questions. Which of these does not describe the transport layer? So feel free to pause the video if you need a little extra time with that one. We'll go to layer six now, excuse me, question six. Which, uh, give me two other common names for a layer two address. I think we have more names for this particular address type than any other, but just give me two of them. What is the basic purpose of the FCS and at which OSI layer will we find it? Which layers of the OSI model map to the TCP IP's model application layer? So we have two major networking models, OSI and TCP IP. Which layers of the OSI model map to the TCP IP model's application layer? Which of these phrases describes TCP? And then finally to wrap it up, I think you know what's coming here. Which of the following describes UDP? A few more choices there for you. And we'll take a moment here. We'll go back up to question one and start going through the answers. Authentication runs at layer seven. That's the application layer. Encryption actually runs one layer lower, if you will, uh, L6, the presentation layer. Let's take a look at this one with the OSI layers. Firewalls run at the application layer. Routers run at the network layer. Switches run at the data link layer. And both of the cable types shown as with any cable type are going to run at the physical layer. It's a good rule of thumb. If you can actually hold something in your hand whether it's a cable, an adapter, something like that, it's going to run at the physical layer. Proper data formatting is the job of the presentation layer. Of these, it is Telnet that runs at the uppermost layer of the OSI model, which is layer 7, the application layer. Taking a look at this one, one of the dreaded not questions, Going from top to bottom, it's C is the first one that doesn't describe it because data is indeed sent in segments uh, and not packets. Also, routing does not take place at the transport layer. The Novell S excuse me, SPX protocol F does actually run at the transport layer. Two other common names for layer two address. Boy, you could say, let's see, a MAC address, a physical address, a hardware address or a burned in address, a BIA commonly. The FCS is used to detect errors in frames and that's actually what the F stands for. It's frame check sequence and that's run at the data link layer. 
The OSI model's top three layers, the application, presentation, and session layers, will map to the TCPIP model's application layer. Scrolling down a bit so we can take a look at all of our choices here. Going from top to bottom, TCP is connection oriented, so that's A. Uh, it does allow for error detection, that's D, and it does allow windowing. Taking a look at question 10 here, which of these describes UDP? It is connectionless, so that's A. Going down, it does run at the transport layer of the TCP IP model, uh, as well as the OSI model, so that is true. Going down further, it does have best effort delivery, and it does indeed deliver segments. We're always working with segments when we're working with TCP or with UDP. Hope you enjoyed this Cisco video practice exam. If you're watching this on YouTube, just look to the right. I've got uh, over 50 videos at this point uh, with more added every day right now for the CCNA, CSENT, and CCNP certification exams, security exams. A lot of great stuff there. Also invite you out to the website, thebryantadvantage.com. If you want to go straight to the tutorials page, you can just go slash tutorials.htm and head right there. I've got over 275 free Cisco certification tutorials, video practice exams, all kinds of great stuff waiting for you there. Again, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933, and I'll see you at the website.